What's up guys and welcome back, back to the second episode of our Portsmouth career mode. As you can see on the screen at our emails we've had a contract accepted by Millicent but we are going to reject because we've got our defensive midfielder higher rated, I think um, 65 rated, so we've high, high rated so I don't believe we need this guy at the moment. The defence is what we need to focus on and we've just had a alert to let us know Sergio Ayala is in talks with Rangers. And um, we have offered them 450, so I'm going to up it to, four, uh, to 550 just to beat our Rangers to this guy. Um, I'm going to upload the first episode uh, on um, Saturday. So this one should be going up probably the following. This is going to be my Saturday series now, I'm thinking. And obviously, we've got my road to where it's going to be Sundays. So I'm hoping that we can get this all good, guys. And we're obviously in the second episode. If you haven't seen the first episode, go down to the uh, description, there'll be a link down there. Um, to that video, but we got obviously more emails back. Leads of the five seven five file. So he's in some hot contention. So we're getting on and up my bid for him uh, to six hundred, just so we can try and secure this guy because I believe his potential is pretty decent, and I do want some solid centre backs. We've also got an offer from uh, sorry a, a response from United about Regan Paul. They want eight fifty for him. We're going to offer him six hundred max. If I can get both set back to 600 each, I'll happily to happily take that. Leave us with a milli to finish off um, with some signings. But I'm starting to get confident with the uh, with the team, guys. We've got our scouting reports. Man United and Valencia have both accepted our bids. So we're going to offer this guy 10. We're going to offer him, no, we're going to offer him 8 million. Four-year contract, important first team. His future first team on 11. So I'm going to try and drop his, uh, his wages down. And then Regan Paul is on 6, 7. He wants 7 grand. So we'll match him for that and we'll pop him as an important first team player as well. I'm thinking both of these are going to be our starting centre backs. So I can't wait to obviously get these guys to sign, hopefully come over to us. The Spanish one's probably going to be a bit harder um, for him to transfer over. Also, come back to us and ask for 10,000. Ring and ball, we can snap up with this signing now. Nice little signing for us. Great setback back um, with some great potential. We're going to, we are going to, yeah, we're going to offer him the 10 grand. We're going to give him that now. Give him the important first team. Adjust the financials so we obviously have enough wage budget. And I'm thinking that all I need to do is buy a centre attacking mid. I think we should be all good positions wise. He's declined it, he wants a bit of a role. Okay, so it's nothing to do with the living, it's all about the role. So give him crucial, I think he will be the highest rate centre back as well. Um, once he signs, I'm going to go jump over to the transfer market, see if there's any cans that do take my fancy. Um, but we're going to wait for him to be accepted first. And there's that contract accepted. Over he comes. We've got 999000 left to spend. We're going to pick ourselves up a cam. I should be back in a second, guys. Right, guys. As you can see on your screen, we've got two emails from our um, bids we did go for. We go for, went for Marcus Edwards, a youngster from Spurs. I know it's got an extremely good potential because I went to use him in a Wonderkid hybrid or Wonderkid trio and the video corrupted so he will be appearing in one of those soon I think he's got an 84 potential and we've got this guy called Bright Eno Bakari I think that's how you pronounce it from Wolves and um, he's got an 80 potential this guy is a centre forward by trade and um, comes out of the cam as well but they're both only up for loan so I'm thinking take the one that's got the lowest wage so he's on 5.4 and see what we can do here but you can also see we've got an e email saying matt clark um is unfortunately injured um, i'm not too sure who matt clark is let me have a look he's not in our starting 11 so i'm going to double check who that is and come back to that we've also got a bid for jamal Lowe again from wicked wanderers and another striker that i can't see myself using but again i'm going to stall it have a look at our striking options and come back to that I'm going to go back over to the transfer market and have a look at, um, now I'm going to go over to my shortlist, sorry. I'm going to have a look at Marcus Edwards just to see um, if we can pick him up on a loan deal and how much his wages are. He's on 6.4. So I'm thinking who would be the more um, potentially, he can play right wing as well. So I'm thinking maybe go for a year long wait, uh, a year long, sorry, loan with this guy. Once I change over the wages, I forgot it does that to me. Um, let's go do that now. We'll go to office and finances, and then we want to go to budget. We we'll go this way. Give ourselves uh, we'll give ourselves eight thousand wage budget. So we'll pop back over to our um, short list. Go down to Marcus Edwards and offer a year long loan. Uh, actually, do you know what? No, I'm going to offer a two year loan. Take uh, take advantage of the new um, 
feature that they've added into this game. Pop in a two year loan for this guy and then go back out into the central. And as you can see on your screen, this Saturday coming, Saturday 6th of August, is our first game against Morecambe. Let's hope we can get some signings. Uh, I didn't even offer a loan. What are we doing? Because I actually put a future fee in there. Re put that bid in for the two year, um, two year loan for Marcus Edward. And then we'll also go and look at our striking options to see. Uh, oh no, Mike Clark's our centre back. That's fine, we've got our new ones, that's good. So we've got Doyle, we've got Chaplin, and we've got Lowe and Hunt, and we've got Main Main. I'm gonna say get rid of I'm gonna say get rid of this striker that, that Wicked have offered us. Uh, 250,000 for. So I'm definitely gonna probably accept that because I can't see us actually needing him. So we'll go over to there. Jamal Lowe, see you later, mate. Have a good time at Wickham Wanderers. Hope you do well there, my friend. But we are about to jump into our first game. What we're doing? First game against Morecambe at home. Oh, it's an away. It's an away game. So we will get the squad ready now, and we'll jump into the game. I shall see you in a second. Right, guys, into the game we do go. Playing at Town Park, away from home. Uh, obviously in the EFL League Two. Uh, obviously we've got our um, loan. Oh, so not loanies. Our debuts here. Two of four. Hoping that they can obviously do a job for us. Both defensive minded players that are picked out there and all four are defensive minded players. So let's hope we can obviously impress and get a win. Let's go. We're giving away a free kick in a dangerous position. I'm hoping with them being mostly bronzes that we're not going to concede. Oh, it's hit the bar. Clear. It's come back in. Ayala, great bit of interception there. We've got the ball away. Oh, he picked up some space. He's P-rolled it straight at the keeper. Palmed it out for a corner. That should have been 1-0. That should have been 1-0. I'm not too sure who actually took a shot there, but... I think it was Lin Gandhi, our senior, who's held at the ball for Della Hodds. Fate turned it over. Ayala tackled on the edge of the box. Oh, great finish. Sorry if you can hear that phone in the background. That is our Cam Roberts with a very nice goal on the edge of the box. McGeady spin to get himself some space and an absolute great finish on his strong left foot across the keeper on the inside of the post. A uh, great little finish for our first goal as a Portsmouth manager. I'm very, very impressed with that. A nice bit of individual skill. McGeady span to get himself some space and put it straight past the keeper. Right guys, that is half time uh, in our first game in the League 2. Uh, obviously we're 1-0 up around the stadiums. You can see all the scores uh, on your screen. If you're actually interested in those, do go and uh, pause the video and have a look. I always like to keep an eye on what everyone is doing. Um, but we're into the second half, hoping to continue our great momentum, get a couple of more goals and just win our first game. Let's go guys. Oh, Roberts is Put some space there nicely. Evans low cross out to Doyle. That was unlucky. Oh, Linzoni, our CDM, has actually pushed his way through out for a corner, and we are going to make ourselves a couple of substitutions. Right, guys, we're making two substitutions now. We are taking off Doyle and Evans, bringing on Baker and Chaplin, uh, like for like, basically, two right mids that come off. And uh, sorry, a right man striker that comes off and is replaced by exactly the same. Got ourselves a corner here, gonna swing it in with Roberts back to Lingunzi, and the keeper makes a great save out for a corner on the other side. To the front post, and Chaplin with his first contribution, a tame header into the goalkeeper's hands. We've picked ourselves up a breakaway. Chaplin is through one on the keeper. He puts it nicely to the keeper's left, making ourselves 2-0 to the good and picking himself up a substitute goal in our first game as manager, surely sealing up the win for us in the 82nd minute. A nice assist there from Roberts, who is seeming to gonna be is seeming to gonna be is seeming to be the heartbeat of the team. 
Oh, we could pick ourselves up a third goal here. Nice header from Chaplin onto Bennett, onto Edwards, or Robert, sorry. And he does pick himself up a second goal. Two goals and one assist in his first appearance. Slowly but surely becoming my favourite player of the team. Only one with four star skill as well. So, I can't complain about that. That is the game, guys. Uh, first game in charge comes to an end. We pick ourselves up a convincing 3-0 away win against Morecambe. Stats on the screen. Uh, possession always is, for me, in the favour of the opposition. I can never, ever hold position, uh, sorry, possession against a computer. Uh, same with passing. They always will beat me on passing. But we did manage to put six shots against the keeper, three of them going past him which is a great result for us. Obviously, you can see all the games on your screen right now, and by the looks of all those results, we will be top of the table after our first game by goal difference. Let's have a look once it loads up. We've got ourselves an email telling us that Jamal Lowe has been sold, but it won't show me because we're in, into a game just three days later against Cambridge in the League Cup. We have just secured ourselves Marcus Edwards' uh, services online for two years, from Spurs, which is a great little addition to the team. Going to pick himself up a debut against uh, Cambridge for 100% sure. Um, I'm thinking of just simming cup games because I can't see me being, you know, too involved in them. You obviously, guys, you can let me know what you think down in uh, down in the comments below. Sorry, obviously, going to put ourselves a team together just so we've got a bit of uh, rotation because all of our players are getting a little bit tired. Uh, I think that's going to be the final edit for us and that should be good the only players obviously not on full cam you can sort of full fitness you can see there is three members of our defense and Della Hoz but I don't want to change out those three players uh, especially um, Ayala played brilliantly in the last game can't complain about um, the three new signings whatsoever but we are going to sim the EFL Cup game against Cambridge away from home they lost their first game of the season to Crawley Town 2-1 so I'm hoping that we can uh, pick up a win away from home against these guys Go one that up in a minute. Edwards took him one minute to get himself his debut goal, which is brilliant. I'm so excited to see some stuff like that. And we go one all. A red card for him, an injury for ourselves. A two one down. Two all. Into extra time, we've picked up a 3 2 uh, 3 all. Oh, this game is thrilling. And we lost on penalties. I can't believe we lost on penalties in that game. That is madness. So we're already out of the EFL Cup. It, first game, we are out already because we simmed it. That is so disappointing. But we do look at the table in the league, which is going to be my main focus of this year. Cups and I am not going to have no chance of winning them, so I'm just going to completely ignore them and try and just smash out the league, get ourselves a, a league title under our, uh, under our belt, sorry, and into a division, uh, sorry, league one, I should say. Saturday and the week after, we do have a home game against Cambridge. So I'm thinking I'm going to sim this one because we are home. I will always find that we will struggle at away games, not at home. I'm definitely going to stick with Ed Edwards playing um, at, at, at central attacking mid. Going to take ourselves and put um, our right back back in, who is, where is he? Sorry, he's there. Walter Peters is there. We're going to pop him back in and we're also going to pop Bennett back at left mid. Um, and I can't see any other options to change there. Linganzi we're going to leave out. We're going to actually going to put Chaplin up front as well for this game. We're going to get into this game, sim it, and see if we can pick up our second win of the division, let's hope, for a brilliant victory from the lads uh, here, putting us on six points if we can get ourselves the win. So we quick send it guys straight away. We picked ourselves up a 2-0 victory. Barely getting ourselves a goal in 43rd minute and then Roberts off the bench picking himself up a 68th minute goal. Um, I'm you know I'm excited to see stuff like this. I'm hopeful, hopeful of the league more than anything that we are gonna win. And we are one of only two teams currently on six points for the season. Uh well, us at Mansfield Town are currently at the top of the table. We obviously got ourselves five goal difference. We're going to pop into the final game of this episode. By the looks of it, it's against Crew Alexandra. Um, I'm going to pop into the final game of this episode, guys. And we're going to cut it after this. And then we're going to obviously get into deadline day and everything like that. Let's get the team sorted for this game.
Ah, oh, we've gifted them the first goal of the game. 15 minutes in, we headed it down and straight to their player. I've crossed it in, tried to clear it, just headed it straight to their player, put it in the back of the net. It was Dagnall. Not a good start, players. And he's put a second one past us. Awful defending from myself, I have to admit that. I really shouldn't have let them in so easily. So disappointed with how poorly we were playing. Awful clearance, so I think that was uh, Carter Peters. Oh, Billy Bingham, what a great name. Not great for us at the moment. Let's get into this and just try and pull this back to at least a draw. Della Hoz has picked himself up his first goal. Great bit of play. Chaplin over to Roberts, who feeds through Della Hoz, who I believe was actually fouled when he did take the shot, but it did end up at the top, at the back of the net. So we're going to take that. We are definitely, definitely going to take that and get into uh, get into the rest of this game and try and get ourselves at least a victory. Now I'm confident we can try and get a victory. And again, more bad defending, and we have actually conceded a third goal in the first half. Have to be honest, it was a great volley from our uh, from our opponent, but you know, I just can't accept that. Can't accept that. Need to sort ourselves out. That is half time, guys. I am so so disappointed that we've actually gone and just let. Just let these guys run right over us, basically. You know, we can't let this sort of thing happen. We've got to get ourselves sorted. Definitely get into the second half and try and fix what we're doing here. Oh, Connor Chaplin through one on one. How has he missed? How has he actually missed that? I cannot believe he's completely fluffed his lines there and really ridiculously fucked up. Can't believe it. Right, guys, we're going to make ourselves a double substitution quickly at mid this corner, which we are going to attempt to clear. Just about. We took off uh, Roberts, put Baker at Cam, and we put Edwards out wide. And we've also brought on um, Lynn Gansby, I think his name is, our CDM that we had in the first game. Four rows, who was just a little bit tired. That one is purely just because of stamina, not tactical. But it's Midfield move is needed. I'm trying to pick up a few goals in the last five minutes. Can't see it happening though. Right guys, that is a 3-1 loss in our third game full time. Disappointing to lose to Crow Alexandra. Um, not calling them a bad team, just very disappointed in the way we played, but they absolutely spanked us. One shot we had and that went in. They had eight shots, six on target, majority possession. So unfortunately for us, we have gone and lost our third game of the season, I'm just having a hunt for um, who is second in these games, but I can't actually find them uh, quick enough whilst I'm talking. So have a look at the league table, we are now sixth. We've fallen down the pecking order. We have a look at the table to finish off. Mansfield Town, top of the table, three wins out of three. Plymouth Crew, Knott's Forest, Stevenage, ourselves and Blackburn, in, uh, sorry, Blackpool in the top, uh, top seven. So we obviously have something to sort out for the next episode guys but there has been this one it is uh, this is the end of this one unfortunately but what i'm gonna do before i go is try and bring in the aspect of ultimate team into career mode so on your screen now you're going to see an inform gary roberts for his performance in the first game i really like to bring um ultimate team and career mode together if we go have a look at the squad report you'll see his um contributions to the uh, team but obviously in that first game he did manage to pick himself up uh, two assists and a goal in EFL League 2 he's got himself three goals and two assists so far so he's had a brilliant start himself so I've given him this 70 rated informed silver card is what I believe he would have got if this was a real life performance uh, leave a like if you think this is a good idea guys I'll carry on doing it if I obviously have more 
performances like that and we can obviously give these out to our players but that's been a video guys i hope you have hope you have all enjoyed as always with some links down in the description below to my twitter and instagram and down there will be sophie for the website i do use for our um potentials transfers everything like that and the link to the first video if you have not seen that but until next time guys i hope you all have an awesome weekend this will be up on saturday so do uh, please watch please subscribe please like and i shall see you all next time bye